Good readings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Rosetta Stone and I will talk about them a little bit more later. Now today we are going to be tasting yet another military ration and this one comes from Slovenia. And da -da -da! Another great big bag. If you haven't seen my other military ration taste test, be sure to check out the playlist where I've tasted dozens of rations or meals ready to eat as they're known in the US, but they are foods that soldiers eat from around the world. And this one comes from Slovenia, thanks to lovely Monica who sent it to me. Monica, thank you so much for taking all the time and effort and expense to send this to me. And I cannot wait to see what is inside. And it lists both in Slovenian and in English, very conveniently, thank you, of all the items in here. So everything a soldier would need for 24 hours. And these look like a type of bread or crisp cracker. Two energy bars, a cutlery pack, some instant tea with a lemon, some energy snacks, strawberry flavored, chocolate, honey, Chewing gum. Monica says that I have to be careful because these have laxative properties. <laughs> yes, tuna and olive oil. Fish pate maybe. Sundries bag. This looks very similar to an American MRE. It contains a flameless ration heater and a pre-made meal. Beef goulash. So we have three freeze-dried meals, very lightweight. So I think this is like a, maybe like a pilaf. I think it's like a vanilla pudding. It's muesli. Got a box of matches, wet wipes, two sugars, instant coffees, and looks like a standard trash bag. So this spread right here is one of my favorite parts of doing these ration taste tests. I love to see what is included. It also reminds me when I first moved to Japan that food was a really important and fun and real life way for me to learn the language. Attempting to read and translate each package and the directions it was a wonderful real life way to learn language. Speaking of real life conversation, this brings us to our sponsor, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is a language learning tool that makes learning a new language immersive and fun. Their dynamic immersion helps you process languages as if you're speaking with a native speaker and having an actual conversation with someone. You can see, hear, speak, write, and read in your chosen language. And there's so many languages offered like Dutch, Spanish, Japanese, which I'm finally jumping back into. And I'm really motivated because of the flexibility that Rosetta Stone offers. Some of the lessons are as short as 10 minutes, so I can squeeze in a short lesson. And they also have a convenient app so I can learn on the go. It's very practical and applicable. You'll start learning conversational phrases right in your very first lesson. And my favorite oh, Rosetta no, Stone no, feature no, is the no, voice no. recognition tool, which allows you to perfect your accent. So if you'd like to start learning another language, click the link down below to receive a 50% discount on a lifetime subscription. Normally that goes for $2.99. You'd be receiving it for $1.50. So you have access to all the languages for life. You can study at your own pace for the rest of your life. So big thanks to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video so I can make better videos for all of you. Before we do anything, let us sanitize our hands. I have a wet wipe here. It smells like perfume, but it has that cooling sensation of alcohol. These are not windproof matches, just typical matches. They work. So here is our muesli, and this is a gusseted bag, so we can just open it from the bottom like this so that it's up. Remove the desiccant. It smells like milk, that's what it looks like inside. So this has increments on the sides here, and the instructions specifically say to fill it to line number three. A full set of cutlery, and fill the water to that line. Stir that up, two minutes for that to rehydrate. So for this one, it says to fill this one to seven. This time, boiling water. Very nice. So this one has to cook for eight minutes. Individual flameless ration heater. Add our water, and then fold this over, let it rest for 12 minutes. Holy smokes. And this is the vanilla pudding. Add water. Oh, eight minutes. For snacks, we're gonna try this crispy bread. Nice and poofy. Go to snap. Itadakimasu. Mmm, very light and fluffy. Nice airy crunch, a little bit of salt. Nice generous can of tuna. Oh yeah, looks just like the tuna fish that you would find here stateside. It's a dakimasu. 
Mm, 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 mm. Delicious, has a little bit of salt in it. Such a great snack. This looks like some kind of pate. I ripped off the tab. Curses, look at that. It smells tomatoey and spreadable. Mm, very surprised by that. It's definitely savory, but it has quite a bit of sugar in it. Tomatoey, it's got some kind of fishy flavor. Maybe allspice, a little cinnamon. Another very convenient snack. No heating, no waiting necessary. Just spread it onto a cracker, serve. Let's make some coffee. Whoa, that's not coffee. That's coffee creamer. <laughs> Is there a separate one that's coffee? Why do you give me creamer and no coffee? Oh no, this is instant tea with lemon. Let's make tea instead. So apparently you can use either hot or cold if you want. Instant tea. Add some hot water to that. Mmm, I can smell a lemon. Mmm, and it tastes just like instant sweetened tea. It has that lemony flavor, a little bit sweet, and tea. I usually associate this flavor with iced tea. Isn't that interesting? But having it hot is actually not bad. Muesli bar or granola bar? This looks more like a kind of an energy fruit bar. Mm, very softly textured. Tastes a bit like a fruit leather mixed with coconut and maybe a tiny bit of chocolate. Not much though. Let's see how our muesli cooked up. Whoa, so normally you wouldn't eat it out of a bowl. You just eat it right out of the package, but I wanted you to see it. It looks a lot like granola. What are these floaty things on top? I think those might be banana chips. Mmm. I believe those are banana chips. That's good. Reconstituted dry milk powder, but it tastes really rich. It has a really nice texture. It's not mushy and there's lots of fruit in here. Raisins, cranberries. I feel like that's a really important trait for food for me. It's having a variety of textures. It makes it more interesting. You certainly could add more sweetness if you wanted some brown sugar, or in this case, they offer you some honey, but I think it's perfectly sweet as it is. Next, let's try our cashew nasi. Oh, this cooked beautifully. That looks pretty good. Mm. Tastes a little bit like one of those instant chicken noodle soups that you add to a cup of hot water. It has that kind of bouillon -y flavor along with that dried vegetable flavor. I believe it might be converted rice, so it has a bit of a kind of spongy texture to it, which I'm sure you would get used to in the field. The addition of cashews is nice. Gives you a little bit of a soft crunch and some additional protein. Lastly, let's taste the beef goulash. Look at the size of this beef chunk. Here we go. Mmm, it's nice and fatty and gelatinous. The sauce is kind of plain though. It's got some tomato in it, but it could use more seasoning in my opinion. Pasta is pretty soft, but that's pretty typical of these pre-cooked pasta dishes. So no surprises there. The meat is very tender. I just feel like it could use a little bit more salt and seasoning, but not bad. I'm also gonna have some pudding. Whoa, look how that fluffed up. Oops, apparently I didn't stir it well enough because there's powder. Hmm. Oh, very thick. I think I could have added a little bit more water because it was a little bit gritty and I got some of the powder, but that's user error. What surprised me is that this has a little bit of a yogurty taste along with a fresh milk vanilla flavor. But the vanilla flavor is not heavy handed. Sometimes I feel like it's too vanilla. This is a nice balance of kind of yogurty flavors with vanilla. Like that. These look to be like vitamins, tablets. Just gonna pop it out. Mmm, great. Wow. They remind me of ramen candies that I had in Japan. Very kind of traditional old fashioned candy. Uh, stateside, they remind me just exactly of Smarties. A little roll of Smarties, you Canadians, not the chocolate Smarties. I'm talking about the roll of Smarties you can find here in the US. And it's got that kind of chalky texture that kind of crumbles, but these are nice and sour. Just nice little acidity to them and they just crumble very neatly into your mouth and dissolve. And it has a nice light strawberry flavor. Those are great. I like that a lot. Oh, I would love a citrus version of these. Mm, just disappears in your mouth. Energy too. Careful. Well, how, what kind of energy? Something good. Looks like mostly B vitamins, vitamin C, a little bit of salt and energy value. 
I don't know if that's in the form of sugar or caffeine or what, but these are good. Finally, let's taste the gum. Look like chiclets, like a little candy coating on them. Oh, no, they're not. There isn't a crunchy candy coating. It's just kind of strongly mint. A bit tough to chew, very mentholated, but not bad. I don't want to eat too many though, because you know, I could have issues. All right, my lovelies, there you have it. That was my very first taste of a Slovenian ration, and it was great. It was a great combination of utility, offering you separate meals and snacks with all the protein and sugar and everything you need while being diverse as well. There was a lot of things to choose from, but it wasn't overwhelming in terms of options. I like that it included items that needed to be rehydrated and others that you could eat on the go, on the run, hot or cold, and other items that didn't require any water. I feel like there was a lot of flexibility in the ration as well. And of the mains, my favorite dish was the muesli, which is surprising because if you ask my husband, I don't like muesli, but I like this one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to start learning a language, start now with Rosetta Stone. Click the link down below to receive 50% off a lifetime subscription. That means you have a whole lifetime to learn any language you want. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Time to get this gum out of my mouth. Yep. Mm-hmm.